welcome to the channel. Enjoy over six years of videos, live streams, and more. And hold on to your butts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Let's be all we can be. Remember, it's not just a job. It's an adventure. No! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Cyber Dan Plays. Oh, I guess my voice likes to crack every now and then. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Space Quest V. Uh, Cyber Dan Plays Space Quest V. And, um, yeah, in the previous episode, I little hit a pretty big snag in gameplay or in, you know, the story. But, um, I did find out that it is not a major issue. <laughs> we don't have to start over and, um, I found out exactly how we're going to continue. So, uh, let us get this underway. I'm going to hit, hit the volume button here. Get some gameplay going. Let us do that. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, make sure that we have the coordinates ready for the future. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Let us make sure. Okay. This is where it started, so I'm going to make sure that we got the right save here. Banana. There we go. All right. So, what we have to do is, uh... Luckily, we won't lose any progress here. I just <laughs> made a huge mistake, it, it turns out. It's not a big deal. Uh, thank thank goodness, because uh, I was worried that we would have to restart, basically. Which means I would have to um, do a lot of stuff off stream. <laughs> and uh, luckily, that is not the case. Okay, let us quickly... Head over here. I did have the right idea of how to handle this situation. I just wasn't fast enough. Yeah, I just cued that action music. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Gotta be quick, though. Cross. Alright, and uh, poke. Climb that rock. Then stick quick. Yeah, there we go. You have to be really fast. <laughs> oh, strike. Awesome. Looks like you bowled her over. <laughs> okay. With ingenuity, Raj. She's cooling her jets at the bottom of the pool below. Nice work. Thank you, narrator. Okay, see how simple that was, and I spent probably a good half hour yesterday <laughs> trying to figure that out. So, uh, this is one, that's one of the, um, the, the, the simple charms of Sierra games back in the day. Uh, <laughs> you never know when you're going to hit a snag, a stun lock, or a game-breaking bug. Um. Luckily, back then you never had to worry about patches for games, you know, the... <laughs> oh wait, no, we want to go in here. Ooh, multicolored. Okay, so... You... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought she fried. By stretching your limited ingenuity to it the fullest, you managed to knock the WD-40's cloaking mechanism. The downside is she's really ticked off. Okay. Well, uh, can we grab anything down here? Okay. Guess she didn't drop anything. It just broke the cloaking. Oh no! Run! I, I tried to leave. Thank you. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. All right. But we didn't die. That, that, that's, a, that's a major positive. Um, okay. Yes. I think we have it all in the bag now. We just have to be really careful. Okay, there she is! I know you're here somewhere, Wilco. Come out and face me like a woman. It's your destiny. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Eat banana. It's a good source of protein. Oh, and potassium, unfortunately. <laughs> Hit that uh, victorious music. <laughs> nope, wrong way. Roy really fumbled that, didn't you, Roger? <laughs> okay, grab one of her pieces here. I want to take a look at that real quick. The metalhead from the Annihilator Android WD-40. It's still a pretty clever name. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, we're supposed to uh, head back to where we landed, I believe. Yep, okay, there's the rest of her. Cliffy! Hey, buddy. What's new? Yeah, <laughs> you stopped the victorious music. Hey, Captain. Well, I'll be. You're still in one piece. The ship scanners picked up a large explosion, and we drew lots... We drew lots to see ya who would come... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's some of the grammar, I don't know. And you lost... Nope, I won. Okay, he bet on whether or not we were going to die. Okay. <laughs> but I'm relieved to see you anyway, sir. <laughs> it will be... Save up... Okay, sorry. I see you got that robot's head there, sir. I... <laughs> I've been looking for it. I've been looking for it. Now I'll beam you back up to the ship and it'll finish picking up and blah blah blah. He's going to clean up the area. <laughs> wow, I need to get back on the ball. Get back, uh into the rhythm of uh, reading everything, basically. <laughs> That's just how this game's gonna be. Eventually, I do want to play Space Quest Six again, and uh, I remember that game has uh, voiceover. So that'll be pleasant. <laughs> oh, we have to get Spike. I did forget about that. Uh, is he, let's see, we should be able to get him over here? Ah, there you are, little bastard. Ah! God, same thing like Alien, that would have melted our face. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, just stick them in your jacket pocket. I'm, I'm sure that'll end well. Um, let's take good old Spike here and stick him in here. You'll be happy there, I'm certain. And we have to use the this here. Anti-acid <laughs> anti tablets. Let's uh, make use of that. That'll calm him down. Poor little fellow must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. Those anti antacids, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say before, should reduce the acidity. Yes, I'm sure. Um, yeah, good old Spike. We'll just hang out in there for a while and not destroy the ship. That, that'll be nice. Okay, where to now? You think you heard Cliffy beaming in. It might be a good idea to give him that android head. Yes, that is a good idea. Let's head back in. I'm glad he didn't take his time down there. Hey, Cliffy, I have something for you. Catch. Oh, God. <laughs> I just wanted you to get ahead. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to click. Damn. Whatever he said. <laughs> I was putting this WD-40 unit back together and I had a couple of pieces left over. Thought you might like a souvenir, here you go. Thanks, I guess. I shouldn't be cl clicking prematurely. I am... <laughs> I, if I read ahead, I'll just stop. <laughs> so, uh, what can we do with uh, that item that Cliffy gave us? What's this? A leftover part from Cliffy's overhaul of WD-40, the Annihilator Android. Okay. Um, what do we do here? Can we use it? That's not something you need to do. Great. Interesting idea. Not necessary. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, can we actually do th something on the surface, maybe? Energize. Wait up, Captain. I'll go with you. Well, thank you. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> Damn it, Cliffy. Okay. Ah, okay, put us in a different spot. 
Hey, why did we beam in here? I wonder if it, this little device has anything to do with it. Oh, so we didn't choose where we landed. Interesting. Interesting idea. Can we do anything with this? Hold on. Uh, maybe that's... No, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, this is where that thing landed. Um, stand on it? Oh, God. Ow. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Cliffy. Oh. <laughs> Go on without me, Captain. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just hang, hang back, Cliffy. We, we'll uncloak this thing if we can. What's that sound? Hold on. The design of the ship's cockpit utilizes an unconventional layout and has vaguely, menif uh, vaguely menacing feel about it. Oh yeah. The very nondescript nature of this uh, panel, which doesn't seem to see, doesn't set it apart from anything else on the ship, <laughs> piques your interest. Okay, fantastic. Let's take a look at it then. Aha! This must be where the cloaking device is housed. It's some sort of locking mechanism. This should be easy to crack open. Will it though? Maybe we, we shouldn't be touching this immediately. Um, hold on. Do we have to stay on the screen? I guess so. <laughs> it's all or nothing, I, I suppose. Can't get back out. That's very, very odd. Okay, well, um, click. <laughs> Cloaking device is secured in place. Oh shit, you've triggered some sort of alarm. Better get this thing and get out of here fast. <gasps> Ooh, okay, um, predator mode. Um, let's think. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Ah, um, oh crap, I wish we could save. Um, uh, is that the right way? No. Uh, okay, this... Oh, uh, crap. Can't move. Uh, can we f brute force this, maybe? Uh, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh. Won't budge. Won't budge. Oh, crap. Oh, we're, we're gonna die. Oh, no. Ah, come on. It's something. Anything. Oh, no. Okay. You can't back out at all. That's very odd. Uh, wait, hold on. This object bears a remarkable resemblance to a cloaking device. This is the cloaking device. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Something has to work. Hate for this to end this way. Uh, come on. Yeah, a brute forcing it might not be the way to go. <laughs> okay, hold on. Put them all back in place. Okay. Let's think this through. Ah! Ah, okay. Um. Ah! <gasps> yes. Um. Hold on. What, what am I thinking? Um, uh, let me see this. Can I see anything? Okay. Only a couple things we can grab here. I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh! <gasps> Grab it. Oh, shoot. Uh, good job. Now get out of here. <laughs> Let's leave immediately. Um, panel. Well, we were able to brute force it. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Cliffy, run. <laughs> I got it. Let's get out of here before this thing blows. <laughs> Teleport or something. Oh. Just in time. Oh. 
Oh, wow, Chief. Did that hurt? It looked real painful. Are you okay? <laughs> Fine. Perfect. Now help me up. Sure thing. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> I'll get around to installing this device as soon as I finish my repairs to the Android. Okie doke. Are you sure that fixing her is a good idea, Cliffy? I'm still not sold on the whole plan. Trust me, sir. Just because you two had a slight misunderstanding, there's no reason she can't become a value member of the crew. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cliffy, but she tried to kill me. That's more than a misunderstanding. <laughs> slight misunderstanding, Cliffy, she tried to kill me. Well, there is that. But I'm pretty sure I can crank down her lethality setting a few couple notches afterwards. She probably just wants to be... Oh, that's not going to cut it, Cliffy. I'm sorry. We're going to jettison this thing out of the airlock. I suppose you're right, sir. It's probably kind of hard to see. <laughs> Captain and Chef have been uh, beaten senseless. <laughs> but I do think it would be help keep you on your toes if uh, she took a random sway. Oh, damn it. I don't want her to so much as scowl at me, Cliffy. All right, sir. Have it your way. All right. Wow. They really don't give you a whole lot of time to read certain things while simultaneously giving you too much time to read others. Ah, that's, that's the magic of Sierra. All right, so uh, do we have to put t Cliffy's tools back? I'm gonna assume he's gonna let us keep those. We haven't even used the laser torch yet, so. All right, let's head back to the <laughs> our crew. Okay. Um, drool, I saw you. Sitting down, don't, don't make the fart sound. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's, uh, pretend like nothing happened. Drool, um, how does the refuse recovery system work, Drool? The refuse system, rec uh, recovery system, or RRS for short, is the primary means by which the Hoover-class garbage scows perform their designated mission. The underlying system is relatively simple. A vacuumatic containment field works in conjunction with the uh, tractor beams to suck up debris and space trash. That's nice. After collection, refuse is, <laughs> refuse is moved into the Eureka's quantum garbage compactor, where it can be reduced for transport to a designated dumping site. Wow! And I thought the floor scrubber in the academy was impressive. It probably is. A lot of this stuff is pretty impressive. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> um, no uh, more chit-chat. Uh, we'll lay in a course, I suppose. Captain, I've ha about had it with <laughs> all I can stand. If we don't take a break soon, there's no telling what I might do. Okay, that sounds fairly aggressive, <laughs> Drool. Um, so I guess we can head on back to Starcon for a, um, little R&R. &R. Let's see here. Okay, so let me look at that map a little bit closer here. Or the, <laughs> the results. Uh, Spacebar, that's exactly where we need to go. 69869, excellent. Let's, uh, shrink the, the screen here. All right. Six nine. Oh no! Ah, that's sixty-six. No, drool. <laughs> no, no, drool. Forget I just typed that. Lane course. <laughs> six nine six eight nine. Goodness. <laughs> Coordinates locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. <laughs> okay. Thank you, drool. I was, I'm afraid we would have, like, went to hell or something. I mean, it was only two sixes, but still. <laughs> uh, go to light speed. Aye, sir. All right. While we're um, thinking here, or waiting for our trip to end, let's talk to Flo a little bit. Uh, what is it now, Captain? <laughs> what do you know about our destination, Flo? We're not going anywhere, Captain. Really? I think we are. <laughs> I kind of forgot where we're supposed to go. Well, let's see what she has to say. 
We finished our mission, Captain. Let's take some R&R &R at the space bar. That's why I thought. Okay. So, are we gonna... Oh, did we put in the wrong location? Hold on. <laughs> oh! Approaching destination. Thank you very much. Let's go to regular speed. Thank you, Mr. Drool. Love those tire screeches. Here we are, Captain. Nowhere. Okay, so that was the wrong thing. <laughs> that was the wrong code. Let's go. Space bar is a... Uh... Oh, I forgot I left that up. Um, 69869. What? Didn't we do that? Hold on. Talk to Drew again. Uh, laying course. Girl, use a break. Yes, yes. Six nine six eight nine, right? Coordinates locked in. We're ready to get underway. Okay, go light speed. That should put us in the right area. I would assume. I guess maybe I typed it in incorrectly. I don't know. Either that or it counted the first two digits I typed in. And then he just ignored the um, my command to not go there. Okay, well, I think we sh should probably be on the right track now. Right, Drool? We're approaching our destination. Let's hope that's the right area. Regular speed. Don't want to overshoot our target. Damn it. Oh, I think this is something I might have to bring up the manual real quick. Hold on. Let's see here. Let me bring that up. Um, da, 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 um, uh, here, do this. I bring that. Um, da, 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 All right. Oh, well, it's supposed to be that. Six, nine. Th oh, I, I, am I completely misreading that? Six, nine, eight, six, nine. That, is that actually what it is? Hold on. Holy crap, it was that the whole time. I completely misread the, the code there. Well, I'm stupid. <laughs> sorry, Drool. Um, sorry, people. Uh, okay, so <laughs> laying the course. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, six, nine, eight, six, nine. Holy crap. We're gonna run out of space gas. <laughs> okay, now light speed and let's get out of nowhere. I'm a good captain. <laughs> That's right. You both know that well. Um, while we're at this, let's hit, take a look at... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, we don't have a science officer. We will though, soon, I'm assuming, with the uh, the woman droid who can probably uh, fill that role, hopefully. <laughs> she might go psychotic though. We're approaching our destination, excellent. Go to regular speed and hope that this is actually it. I think I put in those coordinates right this time. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, I think everything is fine. Okay. Next time, don't bother me unless it's important. Hmm. You got it, Cliffy. Uh, Cliffy. Rule. <laughs> okay. Um, talk. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to sit in the chair. That's <clears throat> prerequisite. Okay, talk. Um, maybe not. I guess we just get out of here. <laughs> Let's head to, on down to the space bar. Which is actually kind of a cool, cool but funny name for a uh, location. Huh? Captain Wilco, please report to the bridge. You got it. What's going on? Do we have to hail Stark on first, maybe? That's probably the case. Pull your head out and pull your head out, Captain. We just missed our destination. Now we're gonna have to lay in a course again. Oh, really? 
Fine. Lay in the course. Six, nine, eight, six, nine. Oh my goodness. I thought going at regular speed. Oh wait, I think we just have to flow and have her dock. I think that's what we had to do. Okay. There we go. Okay, regular speed. Uh, chip's already at regular speed. Thank you. Uh, standard orbit. That's what we had to do. There we go. Okay, now we can land. <laughs> Basically. Let's party. Last one down to the station is a rotten ore at Bovum. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, just squeeze yourself out of that chair, Roger. You're fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Let us make our way down. Well, actually, we'll check on Cliffy first. See how he's doing with, uh, with progress. Oh! Okay, well, I guess I'll follow. Oh, can we take a look at the, the bot? Maybe. WD-40 doesn't appear to be functioning right now. She'll probably make a great science officer once Cliffy gets her up and running. Provided she doesn't try to kill you first. Excellent. I do believe that's a good thing. Let's hope it works out. Energize. Okay, this will prob probably be the last segment we do before ending the stream today. Um, let's see. Excuse me, Captain, but I see an old buddy over there by the bar. Um, Uh-oh. Here we go again. I think he's going to have a fight with that guy. Is that Data? Or, uh, somebody from Star Trek, I don't know. Um, let's, uh, let's go talk to the, to the crew. Okay. Hello, I'm your cocktail waitress analog. What's your poison, humanoids? I'll have a double bourbon on the rocks. I'll have a fuzzy nostril. Give me a green goblin. Mm. Here you are. Bzz. Drinks. The charges will be deducted from your Starcon account. If you feel the urge to hurl, please feel free to use the restrooms, humans. Does it not know that these the other two aren't humans? Hmm. I see. Uh, is that Quirk up there on the upper right platform? I think it is. And that's the alien we were talking to before, I think. Ew! Uh, hello there, suck- I, I mean, partner. Oh, this guy's gonna try to sell us something. Well, actually, I'm kinda... Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Nilo Jones, Merchant of Venus. Dealer in fine collectibles, trafficker in rare artifacts. What's your moniker, son? I'm, uh, Roger Wilco. Well, Wilco, this is your lucky day. Why? I can tell from the first minute I set eyes on you that you're a discerning individual with an IQ significantly higher than the uh, chair he was sitting in. Hmm. Uh, a man that <laughs> who knows the value of fine merchandise when he sees it. Okay, you're right. what, what do you want to sell? Well, um, never fear, Wilco. Nilo can fix your right up. With what? Need some Antarian Firewater? A few gray market copies on the latest things quest game? Or a lucky triple scoop? Whatever the hell that was. Um, <laughs> how about some Chernobyl cufflinks? They're a collector's item you know, guaranteed to give you that warm glow like only a hard radi radiation can. I don't think... I can see you're looking for something special, Roger. Can I call you Roger? Well... I've got well, just the thing. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. Why did it skip so fast? Dehydrated space monkeys. They're all the rage in the colony worlds. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to feed them and there's no... Oh, I'm not sure... Why is it skipped so quickly? Holy crap. You drive a hard bar bargain, Raj. I tell you what. You can take a free sample of space monkeys and my business card. With my compliments. Unlike your eyebrows. <laughs> then you buy something for your lady friend the next time you pass through here. Uh, thanks. Something free isn't bad. 
Realizing he's not going to make a big score here, the sales beast moves off to find another victim. Great. Yeah, yeah you burp. Have a nice day. Okay. Quirk, I can see you. <laughs> Very slowly moving away towards us. Well, 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 look who it isn't. Buzz off, laser brain. Enjoying your new command, trash man? I recommended you for the job. That sanitation engineer to you, Crumb? Ooh, an aristocrat. I bet Ambassador Wankmeister would be really impressed. <laughs> she and I have a great time working together. Having a great time. Closely on the Goliath. Quirk, you have the looks of an Orat and the manners to match. Uh, why you little, I could have had you brought up on charges for that. I demand satisfaction, slap. I challenge you to a game of Battlecruiser, <laughs> wimp. Fine, I'm gonna kick your butt <laughs> aft side into the next quadrant. Great. Ha! We'll see about that, broom jockey. Oh great, we had to face him in a... Oh, we're supposed to face him in some kind of a battleship-like game, I think. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's save beforehand. Uh... Battleship. Okay. We, we know how to play Battleship, I think. Okay, um... To get our placement down first. I've never been really good about, uh... <laughs> playing Battleship. I've never been a super big fan, but more of a, um... Oh. Oh! Oh, crap! There are just more, there's more than one quadrant. Okay. Hold on, we'll do this. Put that there. Okay, put this. Yeah, we'll put the, the, the big one over here. And done. Okay. I've been more of a um, guess who kind of guy. Uh, weapon or probe? Oh, we'll stick with weapon here. Um, okay. Um. Like, just click done then? What, what's the deal here? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I got it. All right. Miss. Okay. Hey, there we go. That's All right. This might take. <laughs> but surprisingly, he. he I guess he just got really lucky. Ah, damn. Okay. Ah, it was that little guy. Okay. Nice. My scout ship. Right. Okay. So if I were a quirk ship, where would I hide? Damn. Ooh, okay, that would... <laughs> Living on the edge there. Did he just shoot the same area? Again? Let's move quadrants, I think, or sectors. We'll go. Here. Luckily, he's starting to get a little bit further away from. This might take a while. <laughs> Dang, he hasn't even landed one hit yet. Um, damn. Well, we might have to start using probes, I think. Let's uh, probe here. Nothing. All right. You know what? We're gonna... Pr 
probe one more corner over here. Well, no, no, let's probe over here. <gasps> yes, okay. That is gonna help. I can't believe they make you do this, this whole thing. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Crap. It'd be nice if this was the big, the big guy, the big bad. Actually, maybe it would be better if it was the smaller one. This might be, hold on. Which one could it be? It could be this one here. Yeah, I think so. So we'll do that. Okay. That did it, okay. Eat it, Quirk. My star base, ah! Still has not hit us. Well, let's uh, kind of uh, do a little checkpoint here. Don't want to have to do all this all over again because it does randomize where it's going to be, you know? Damn. Hate to use all our probes, but you know, it might be necessary. Um, we did down here, so let's finish it with this. There we go. Perfect. Well done, Quirk. <laughs> he's not he's not doing too hot. <laughs> Ow. Hey, you you could get one of my ships at least. Wow. <laughs> A just difficulty level, huh? <laughs> Tierra Games didn't have that kind of thing, so... Sucks to be him. Yeah, this is the... yeah. Okay, we got one left, and it is the, um, the Big Daddy. You destroyed my destroyer, punk! Okay. Hey! There you go, I'm proud of you. Okay. Well, let's save one more time here. And, uh... Now it's just a matter of pure luck. Well, we do have one more probe. Yeah, let's might, we might as well use the last probe. Let's, um, actually do this area here. Crap. Okay. Yeah, that one's bound to go. So it's not gonna be up here. Uh, let's see. No? <laughs> it's right down to the wire. Okay. Since it, luckily it is the biggest one. So maybe we'll just... Yeah, we'll, we'll do it this way. We'll just start making corner to corner. Kinda. But it might not be sector 2 at all. Don't know what's the wisest method. We start doing random areas. Might as well. It's gonna be spread out a little bit more since it's the largest ship. Okay. Okay. I think it's probably fair to say that it's not going to be Sector 2. Okay, let, let's move on. We'll go to Sector 3 for now. Unless it's like over here. No. He's still having trouble with that first ship. <laughs> uh, maybe down here? No. Yeah, as you can tell, this can take a while. Don't start off with some good. Luck. And by the way, you can lose this, and uh, you know, still progress in the game. I don't think you have to win. My goodness. 
Quirk, what's wrong with you? Um, yeah, unless it's like right over here in the middle. Yeah, it's probably inside the room. All right, that's one. You nailed my command ship. Okay. Let's go back to sector one. Yeah, it could be anywhere over here. Damn. All right. Okay, he's moving on to... This might take forever. Let's see. I wish we had more probes. That would be pretty helpful. Ah, luck. Luck can beat any probe. Okay. Just eliminate all possibilities here. <laughs> oh, it's going horizontally then. All right. Uh, so let's do that. Okay. Never mind. So, here? No. Look at the configuration of the ship. It should be... Then it should be over here, right? No? Hmm, okay. Well, that that's the formation. Um... Okay. What the heck am I hitting here? Oh, okay, it's gonna be, okay. It's aiming downwards, got it. it took me a little bit too long to understand that. <laughs> There's no way he beats us now. Almost there. He knows there's no point. I keep, keep, keep going. Alright. Thank goodness. It's almost over. This is worse than Monopoly. <laughs> Got your quirk. Hey, Blaster, you nailed my last large battle cruiser, we weed. I won! I won! <laughs> Evil laugh. Why, you dirty no good? Hey! Whoa, whoa! Kung Fu fighting. What's going on here, Cliffy? Captain, that slug bait crewman from the Goliath killed our strip a garbage scow. It is, though. I just couldn't sit there and let him get away with it. Cliffy, the Eureka is a garbage, garbage scow. <laughs> You dummy! Oh yeah, I forgot. But he didn't have to go rubbing it in our noses in it, right? I've heard enough. Guards, place that man under arrest and toss him in the brig. Wait a minute, Quirk, you can't just... I can and I did. You beat me a battlecruiser. Now just, <laughs> just stow it, Wilco, or you'll end up alongside him. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my ship. I wouldn't want to keep the ambassador waiting. <laughs> You're still missing, Cliffy. <laughs> I just like to imagine that he's doing these wild swings, missing every time, and making the sound effects with his mouth. Okay, so we gotta go find Cliffy, but first things first, we'll talk to the crew. What do you expect to say? Uh, just what do you expect to it to say to you? Oh. You try in vain to hail the bartender, but he just zooms by you with an electric wine. Can't can't talk to the crew at all? Really? It just <laughs> won't let it happen. Okay, I guess we have to actually sit there first? Okay. We've gotta save Cliffy. You expect to, come on. Did you notice the alien sitting with the quirk in the upper booth when we ca came in, Captain? What about him? Well, I have an excellent memory for cranial configurations, and I swear that was the same creature we saw in the uh, transmission for we intercepted. I, I noticed that. What do you suppose it was doing with quirk? I haven't any idea. What do you think, Drool? Beats me. I didn't even see the guy when we came in. Hmm. 
Yeah, she's got the eye for it. And he, uh, and he's drool. Okay, we're gonna move on. Let's go over here. I guess we can go into the uh, the prison brig area without getting arrested. Let's head it back up to the ship first, though. I think we might need a Spike for the current situation. So uh, let's go ahead and grab him. Hey, Spike! Ah, you gotta stop doing that. Oh God, the sound effects. Okay, close this. Like, <laughs> let Spike's resting place. Uh, just do its thing. Uh, okay, let's go back down. Yeah, I think we're gonna need Spike for this segment. But uh, yeah, that actually went on a little bit longer than I expected the <laughs> Battle Cruiser segment. But um. Yeah, that's going to actually end tonight's episode. A little bit of a spontaneous live stream tonight, but uh, I did want to um, get the, a little bit more of this done. A little bit more Space Quest, uh, considering yesterday was uh, not the best of endings <laughs> in our the last night's stream. So, uh, with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of Cyberdam Play Space Quest V. The next mutation. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night, everyone.